Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel as always. Today I will be filming my red sheep cordon loose for you. Now this is one of my breeding pairs, which is a uh, heterozygous uh, male for the mutation that the female has. Which mutation it is, well there's some debate about it, but uh, it's usually called a pastel one. Now I have two pairs like these, the first pair had three nests, but only the third uh, clutch resulted in some chicks. So, uh, and they fledged today, one had prosigus one, probably, and one mutation one, one full mutation one. Now this is my second pair, which is only now paired up and they have their first egg since yesterday. They haven't laid their second one yet, but let's hope they uh, <laughs> give me some nice clutches with some babies from them. Now I'll show you how this baby looks like, which is under societies, because the reason the first clutches did not work out is because the first clutch was uh, was fertile but they didn't hatch and the second clutch the parents tossed their chicks after a few days and I wasn't able to save them anymore now I do let them incubate the eggs and once they hatch then I place these youngsters under a, cup, a pair of societies so this baby is the mutation baby if I get it on camera properly because it's it just fledged today so it's a little bit skittish well like you see it's very light blue and its back isn't completely brown it's a lighter color of brown and So it's a lighter color of brown with stripes on it. That's why sometimes they are called feo as well, but usually they're called pastel mutation. Now, oh, that's the, I just wanted to show you the second youngster. That's a normal one. If they wanna sit next to each other, then you can see the difference. Now, since this normal baby comes out of a heterozygous father and a mutation female, it is most likely that this one will be a split animal, so a heterozygous animal. Now, I also want to show you one other baby I have here, which is uh, one of my Cuban grass kids. My funny para canora, and they are in this big cage, which is like a meter and 60 centimeters, or like a little bit over five foot. And they have a chick as well, which I was able to put a ring on today. Now that one's in here. So that are my youngsters so far, at the moment. So as always guys, thank you for watching, if you did like this video please leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already and of course like this video, also ring the notifications bell so you're updated once I release a new video.